Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. So talk of an FPGA, possibly a Mr. Handheld. And hey guys, if you're a regular on the channel, you know I have a bias towards handheld gaming. It's how I do most of my gaming when I'm not filming stuff. You know, leading a family life, I end up playing games on the Steam Deck, the Unlock Pocket, one of my Game Boys, a lot more than I do sitting in front of the TV or sitting in front of my laptop playing games. So this obviously interested me straight away. I saw this just before uh, I went to bed. So when I woke up, it's the first thing I'm doing is just bringing this to your guys' attention. So this post here is created by Taki Maki YouTube, who is Taki Udon, if you're unfamiliar with a guy. He does uh, a lot of videos on handhelds. As you can see, here's his YouTube channel, and it's just handheld after handheld after handheld. Now, um, well, I'll talk a little bit more about Taki and why I like his stuff, but we'll have a look at this post that is put over on Reddit. So the title reads, any interest in a low-cost open source FPGA handheld? I have, I have been speaking to a gaming company that is thinking about creating a new open source FPGA handheld, but they are unsure of what people in the community would want. They would like to make a platform akin to Mr. that would be useful for devs in this field. This is far outside my wheelhouse, so I figured I would raise this here. I'll pass along any feedback you guys have to the company. Okay, where are they now? They are unsure of whether or not they should pick an FPGA for this handheld that has an arm core like Mr. or without like the analog pocket. If they were to create one based on Cyclone 5, Cyclone 10 configuration like the analog pocket, they would target a 99 retail price. That's crazy. 99 for an FPGA handheld with a screen. I uh, really hope it has like a good D-pad and buttons. I would love to see one with uh, six face buttons and a good d-pad so hey i can play street fighter without using shoulder buttons but anyway reading reading the rest of the post if that configuration is not enough they would be looking for suggestions from people in this community they would most likely create a dev program to get hardware out to developers that make fpga cores based on past experience i would imagine these would be free so okay so a little bit more about tacky tacky he's awesome with handheld so I, i'm a big handheld gaming fan uh, I, I i played before the steam deck came out i had a lot of gpd devices i had like um the the one x player i've gone through quite a few different handheld devices and and he's quite big in the field so he gets the items first he reviews them and to be honest he gives sound advice like when i've watched his videos you know he's pointed out some good stuff he's pointed out the bad stuff it's quite unbiased so I, I trust him as far as his reviews go um there's four people that i go to for handheld stuff uh, eta prime taki udon retro game corpse and if you want a real real technical breakdown there's a guy called the fox so because it's coming from him, um, you know, it's 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 great news. So likely it's like a Chinese company that's looking at the trend with FPGA gaming, looking at how well the analog pocket is doing. And hey, they want a bit of that. They want a bit of that FPGA money or FPGA handheld money. Because hey, you know what? There's this market. There's the market is big. Analog pockets pretty much always sell out. So it would be nice. And also competition is always great for us, the consumer. So there's lots and lots of feedback left down here, quite a little bit down here. People are saying, okay, you know, I think it'll be great. Uh, it will need to, uh, it will need to have like Mr. Cause ported uh, from day one. Some, uh, you know, the other issue that arises is if they use a different FPGA, would anyone want to actually work on it? Will developers, developers jump on board and spend their time porting cores or making fresh calls for it uh, so that's why look if you've got any feedback head over to this reddit uh, thread i will leave a link to this in the description i'll also leave a link to taki udon's youtube channel honestly it's worth chucking in your few bucks because he's dealing directly with a company that's interested in making one and you know this isn't gonna i, I imagine it's a company that he's dealt with before that have made various handhelds i don't know which one it is i don't think taki says it anywhere in this post what the company is i mean it could be someone i wonder if it's someone big like amber nick or someone someone that's put a lot of handles out there would it be like maybe someone like the ayn there's a whole bunch of companies out there uh, that do like a lot of these Androids, Android and Linux based handhelds. So here I am. I've, I've kind of answered here as well. Obviously, I tell Taki I'm a fan because I am uh, like, like people have said before. Um, Sorry, like people have said before me, this thing will only be a success if it will run Mr. Cause out of the box or porting Mr. Cause is a simple process. Also, in regard to price, honestly, if the quality is there, I, I, I can quite easy, it can quite easily command 300 uh, people will buy it. It has to have great buttons and a D-pad 
as without this it will ruin the device and that's one of my biggest gripes with the analog pocket like many of you guys it's a great device i love it but the d-pad is a little bit lackluster it could just be the d-pad the d-pad lets it down i mean don't get me wrong it's not the worst d-pad on the analog pocket there's a lot of stuff i can play but for example like street fighter whenever i'm trying to jump forward from the one player side honestly i just have difficulty doing it uh, so it will be nice to get something with an awesome controller that just that just works you know with an awesome d-pad so definitely check this out leave your feedback here like i said like taki udom is he's a big youtuber he's got like what's his subscribe okay so he's got 200 you know over a quarter of a million uh subscribers so obviously he's he's he, he's a voice in within his own community um these guys approached him and and give the guy some feedback leave leave your feedback here hopefully if there's enough feedback and enough interest something like this becomes a reality so again i don't know if it's i don't know what fpga chip they're going to be using 99 sounds a little bit too ambitious i can't i can't see it being that price and being like the most awesome device out there i do understand because some people in the comments said look it's it, it's going to be a worldwide release some people don't have the money or the disposable income we have in say europe and the usa uh, i get that i just want something that can play let's say up until cps2 in the palm of my hand um, but that's really it for this video guys i wanted to bring this post in particular to your attention and if you want to get involved leave your comment here uh, speak to tacky let's get all this uh, information out there and hopefully i really hope this actually becomes something and we get ourselves a, an open source fpga handheld um with uh, with plenty of developers porting calls making calls just something a new handheld for us to play guys anyway if you did enjoy this video then thumbs up subscription all that good stuff is super appreciated i'll see you guys around this is pixel cherry ninja out